Howdy, Devin Rose, Lionheart Catholic. Hope you're well. Wanted to share with you something I've endured, um, namely living under stress and a constant state of alarm due to the uh, past two years. And I think a lot of you can um, probably sympathize with this. I've been living in kind of a constant state of, of heightened anxiety um, during the long emergency. And I found this book, by the way, which I'll tell you about in a second. Waiting for the other shoe to drop, something terrible is going to happen. And this heightened state of alarm and vigilance is, um, I would argue, not healthy. And yet, in spite of things calming down, relatively speaking, still I haven't broken out of that yet. Um, so I wanted to, I want to break out of it. And I've, I've started doing some things for myself too. Um, what's interesting, I, I looked for Long Emergency and found this book by uh, James Kunstler, who I've read his blog before, James Howard Kunstler, and really get a kick out of his blog. So he he speaks very directly and um, usually talks about current events with politics and whatnot. So I, I recommend uh, his blog, and I might buy this book. But, you know, have you found yourself doom scrolling as they say the news feed uh, maybe you know your facebook feed whatever you're looking for that crash to happen the crash in the stock market the war to expand and you know nuclear holocaust type of stuff um you know, some health health uh problem that would would, would uh, you know sweep the world um, you know, all this stuff could happen, right? The stock market might crash and housing, real estate, and, um, every investment. And uh, these wars could escalate. But the question is, is what, what can I do about it? What can you do about it? Not much. What we can control is pretty small. So what we can do is work on ourselves, pray, um, which I recommend you do. I'm going to have some tips here that are very basic. Start breaking out of that fight or flight constant danger mindset and um, you know doing so lowers stress lowers cortisol there's a whole article on this about hey something that we know chronic stress puts your health at risk in ways that um, it's hard to exactly identify but you uh, you see it happening because uh, whenever it, you 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 do live in this constant heightened state you eventually kind of burn yourself out right? It's almost like the boy who cried wolf. And um, that fight or flight is supposed to be just for a temporary thing to save yourself, not to be a permanent steady state in which you live. And I was thinking about this, how to have peace in spite of problem and uh, the problems that are happening. And I remember this quote from St. Francis of Sales, who said, never be in a hurry, do everything quietly and in a calm spirit. Do not lose your inner peace for anything whatsoever, even if your whole world seems to be coming down around you, right? falling around your head. And, you know, this matches up with what Jesus said in the Bible when he, he said, um, you know, I leave you my peace, my peace I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid because in this world you will have trouble, but I've overcome the world. So that peace that Jesus gives, we don't want to lose it. We want to maintain it. Even if the whole world is falling down around you. So what, you know, what are some simple steps here? We'll um, pray each day. Specifically, I recommend mental prayer. That's the second level of prayer for vocal prayer. And you can just search online, search for how to do mental prayer. There's some basic steps. There's a great video by Father Ripperger on YouTube about it. I have a blog post about it on Lionheart Catholic. Here's these basic steps. And of course, you should do vocal prayer too each day, whether praying a novena or praying the rosary or you know, spontaneous prayers. I have my own, some of y'all know this, I have my own site, Pray Catholic Novenas. It has a bunch of novenas along with a mobile app. It's a lot of novenas. <laughs> It'll keep you busy praying for a long, long time. And um, so so what are the simple steps then? Pray each day. Go for a walk and get exercise. And it's so basic, but, um, uh, you know, a lot of times 
we're afraid something's going to happen, et cetera. And so it's like, we, we don't want to waste time just going for a walk, right? It's kind of pointless. Well, no, it's good for your cardiovascular health, lower stress, right? Um, all the, the things we know about it and whether you're jogging or cycling or lifting weights, um, go and do that. And then third, I would say work on something constructive. So replace the doom scrolling with read a book, learn how to write a book, you know, even better plant a garden, weed the garden, harvest the garden, um, learn about gardening, learn about permaculture, grow in resilience. Um, you know, doing, for example, I've been looking into solar energy and I really like this guy, Will Prowse, this young guy, I think he lives in Nevada. He's got great videos on how to set up a solar powered system, whether it's like just a mobile top of your RV uh, system or full on off grid, you know, massive solar panel set up with batteries and inverters. So learn about that, learn about doing water storage, food storage, things that actually, if there is some sort of calamity, you'll actually be better off because you have done these preparations. Um, build a business, start a new business, start it on the side with your current job. Why not? Your current job, who knows? It could disappear or there could be a, a, a downturn and you lose your job. Well, maybe then you have something on the side, might not replace your income, but it could help you get by. You could help, you know, you could build it up over time. So, you know, the, the, the bottom line is God does not want us to live in a state of fear and anxiety. You know, perfect love drives out all fear. Um, we will all die and meet him face to face. It's inevitable. You know, the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, hell. Live a holy life, die a happy death. Those are the two most important things that we can do. And living a holy life means not giving in to um, these, these kinds of fears. Okay, Devin Rose, Lionheart Catholic. God bless.